like to welcome you to the good news program tonight it's good to be back with you we have brother Varner he'll be singing and then uh, Tim he'll be singing also we have Judy on the phones we have brother Dockery here and my name's Cindy so it's it's good to be back with you um, I hope everybody's uh, feeling good tonight ready to be blessed because I've heard some of the songs that's going to be sung and I think you're going to uh, feel good from them I know I felt good hearing him, so if he's ready, we'll let him go ahead and start us off. As I walk this road of life, my feet grow weary, and I stumble through the thorns shifting sand but I never have a fear about tomorrow for I'm led by the master's hand through the storm through the night I'll keep holding on with this hand soon shall stand and I'll never walk alone for my heart tells me I'll be led by the master's hand through the storm through the night I'll keep holding on with this hand take just a few minutes to read uh, a little letter from Donna uh, I think she posted on her Facebook and uh, brother Barner has copied it down so we can give everybody an update uh, she says thank you all for your prayers on Lonnie's behalf the regime I think is how you say that word that he was on for his cancer going to Winston four days a week ended up not doing anything really in fact his cancer had jumped up in the last month he had it the doctor has changed his 
regime. Now, instead of a clinical trial, he is on a regular chemo combo. After only being on it for a month, his cancer numbers have decreased by around 50%. Praise the Lord. Praise God, yeah. And Donna says, we praise the Lord for that. And I'm sure, I'm sure everybody out there is praising God for that. that that's, that's good news. Yes. We, we, we give good news here, don't we, Tim? <laughs> okay, since he isn't uh, making all those trips to Baptist on the new treatment, he was able to go back to work this week for the first time in six months. And they thank God for that also. But uh, they ask that you continue to remember him in your prayers. He, he's had some tough days uh, with working and taking the treatments. So, and, and, and I'm sure he's weak, you know. And anytime you're out of work for any period of time and you go back, you know, your, your body's got to get used to doing that, that work again. So uh, she wants you to know that she loves you all. And she uh, thanks you for your thoughts and your prayers. And it was a blessing to, I talked to her also a while ago, and it was a blessing to talk to her. I, I miss them. I miss them. <laughs> they're my buddies. They're my, my brother and my sister. And I, when they're not here, a part of me is not here. So you pray that, that God will help them to get back to us Amen. soon. Brother, you go ahead and sing for us. Lord, it's just another hill that we travel. Lord, it's just another mountain to climb. But if you walk along, Lord, beside me, I know I'll make to heaven. Sometimes my feet ache with pain Then I get one glimpse of heaven And that's what keeps me going on Lord, it's just another It's just another mountain to climb. But if you walk along, Lord, beside me, I know I'll make to the heaven on time. Now sometimes I get home sick for heaven. Sometimes I just want to go home. But Lord, help me reach all my family. I want them all to be at home. Lord, it's just another just another mountain to climb but if you walk along Lord beside me I know I'll make to heaven on time well the road has been rough and rocky Sometimes my feet ache with pain Then I get 
one glimpse of heaven And that's what keeps me going on Lord, it's just another hill that we travel Lord, it's just another mile you're going to be blessed. I like that. Uh, let me correct a mistake I made the last time I was here. My Aunt Lucy, uh, I, I said that she broke her shoulder. She did not break her shoulder. It was her wrist. So I uh, pray for her healing on her wrist. And also I'll give you a not so much of an update on my mama because we still don't know anything. Uh, she did have the test. We're waiting for the doctor to call us now. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to tell tell what's going on soon. You know, uh, the unknown is what is what uh, gets you tore up. And you have to hurry up and you have to wait. You hurry up and you wait. And you do this and you still got to wait. And, and that's... That doctor told her he was going to give her uh, the biggest pill she'd ever took in her life, and it was going to be a patience pill. And I told him, we're going to need some of that, too, or we're going to be climbing up the walls, you know. It, it is. It's, it's hard to wait when, when you, know, th you know things aren't exactly right, but that's, that's when God will also step in and help, and I appreciate what he's doing for us and what he's going to do for us. I, I, I do thank him and love him for that. Okay, remember the Sue McCallum family? She passed away. Uh, she's from South Carolina, and I think she sung in a group. That we, okay, so remember her as, well, her family as you pray. And we'd like to thank everyone for the Christmas cards and the offerings that you've sent. Uh, we get a blessing out of getting cards from people, and we do appreciate it. Uh, pray for Kim and Conover. She has special needs. Bill and Louise from China Grove needs prayer. And thank everyone for their Christ birthday offerings. Christ birthday offerings, okay. Jeannie and Robert needs our prayers. I also remember Linda and her son William, her daughters, and her sister has shingles. And she also requests that we pray for the poor and the sick and the hungry from China Grove. Appreciate that. It's it's always nice to think about somebody else when when you're when you need prayer too. It, it, it's good. Song and a prayer for Glenn up in Pinola. Uh, Dorothy needs prayer for her legs and eyes, and uh, for her lost family. And she's requesting a song. Now this listener, we, we really need to pray for this. This they, they need prayer because they can't receive Channel 14 anymore in Charlotte, in the Charlotte area. Uh, Brother Varner is requesting that maybe you scan your TV on the box and sometimes that'll bring it back in. But we're gonna pray that you get the Good News program again uh, soon. Uh, brother, are you ready to go ahead and sing for us at this time?
he'll walk a land of you. And every night as you lay down, angels are camping all around. I'll never be alone, for he is in the midst. He's in the midst of our storm. He's in the valley we walk through, where two or three are gathered in his name. He'll be there too. When you feel so all alone, he is standing next to you. He's with us now. Our Lord, he's in the midst. fell away they cried behold our God for he is in the midst he's in the midst of our storm he's in the valley we walk through where two or three are gathered in his name he'll be there too when And all their chains just fell away. They cried, Behold our God, for he is in the midst. He's in the midst of our storm. He's in the valley we walk through. Where two or three are gathered in his name, he'll be there. a good song uh, pray for uh, the Tidwells in Polkton North Carolina also pray for Peggy uh, Claremont and she wants to be added to the prayer list also uh, a special prayer and a song for Peggy Webb uh, continued prayers for Kathy Weatherman prayer and a song for Pauline Lale and Ruth Cole also continue to pray for Ginger uh, a, a listener needs a special prayer. Uh, pray for health for Donald, Jonathan, and Nikki. Also pray for Donald Spake uh, for medical problems and remember his wife Janice for her health problems. Also pray for uh, Mary and Ernest Earp and Remember the Reverend Gary and Gail Posey in prayer as you pray. If you're ready, we'll go ahead and let you sing another one here. Let me walk 
close to the
see? That's what I was hearing when I come in here tonight. <laughs> we had a listener to call in uh, about the, the, the people that cannot receive the uh, Channel 14 in Charlotte. They say if you will uh, try Channel 18, if you've got Spectrum, it used to be Time Warner. If you will try Channel 18, that's uh, that's how they pick it up. Now I don't I don't guess this listener is able to see us tonight. So if somebody knows who this is, please get in touch with them and let them know to please try Channel 18, and that might solve the problem. Okay. And I appreciate that listener calling in and, and trying to help somebody. I, that, that God bless you for that. Uh, Teresa needs prayer. She's having a test. Uh, Elizabeth Burgess of Newton uh, needs prayer for back problems. Also pray for Elizabeth Reed and family. Uh, pray for Ed Turbyfield and Alton Clark, Hersley Reed. Ruth Reed and family, also Elizabeth Chapman, and they want a song also. A prayer for Josephine Stillwell for neck surgery on Tuesday. A pray for Doc Price and her and family. Also pray for Kathy Sigmund. And then uh, pray for the Stillwell family in loss of their daughter. I'm not sure if that's the same Stillwell family or not, but uh, be sure and pray for them. Also pray for, I think this is Ivanil Hicks and Jean Kirksey. Uh, we'll go ahead and let them bring you another song at this time.
one of my favorite songs. Uh, Brother Varner and, and Donna both does it. I, I like it either whoever's singing it. I like it. And uh, I think one of the hardest things to do is as a Christian is to uh, pray and ask God to to help us to take this burden away, to make this one not sick anymore, to save that one and leave it in his hands. I'm I'm so guilty of that. I, I my preacher says all the time, leave your burdens at, at, at his feet. You know, let him take care of them. And I try my best to do that, but for some reason I pick them back up and take them back with me. And I worry and and I fret and uh, you, you, you know, neither one of them is, is good for us. But I think that's just uh, being a human, and I think God knows that. And he knows our heart. And he knows that we know that the battle is his and that he's in control. And it's going to turn out the best way possible. It might not be what we want, but it'll be what God wants for us. And somewhere, somehow, it's going to help us. It's going to uh, help us to grow closer to him and to lean more on him. In, in our times of trouble and sorrow. It, it, it's nice to know that we have a God that we can call on, that we have somebody that we don't have to make no reservation. Uh, we don't have to, it, it ain't even a long distance call. You don't have to holler, you don't have to scream. You don't need no cell phone, all you gotta say is Lord. And, and, he, and he's, that, that's it, that's it. You, you can't ask for anything any better than that, except to be saved. Yes. That's the main thing. This, uh, I know Christmas is not that far away, and everybody's probably looking forward to gifts, but the best gift that you can receive is salvation, and it's free. And I'm not going to stand here and say, if you repeat this after me, you'll be saved, because I don't believe it works that way. God has to be dealing with you. The Spirit has to be dealing with you. And when he does, that's when you get saved. I can't save you. Brother Varner can't save you. None of us here can save you. If I could, I'd, what, if I had to roll across the floor, I'd do that just to get you saved, but I, I can't. But I know somebody that can. Yes. And just call on him. And I promise you, I promise you that'll be the best thing that you receive this Christmas. Brother, go ahead. Heaven is a beautiful place. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered in the heart of man what it's like. But we know Jesus is there. We know God is there and the Holy Ghost is there. Angels and cherubims are there. But the greatest of all is that there'll be no sickness. Yes. No more heartaches. Yes. No more sorrows. No more disappointments. Thank you. No broken crutches. No canes and no strollers. Yes, sir. And no wheelchairs, because there'll be none in heaven. When we all get to heaven and we look around, there's no cripple. Where to be found He'll live with Jesus While the ages shall roll In that land where no wheelchairs roll There'll be no wheelchairs in heaven No It's a land where no wheelchairs can roll. 
We will never have to cry. We will never say goodbye in that land where no wheelchairs roll. There'll be no wheelchairs in heaven. No one will be cruel that day. But there's one thing I know that the wheelchairs can't roll on the street. An angel standing beside the gate And I said, where's the cripple? Are they all laid? He smiled and he said, there's the cripple inside They left all their troubles when they said goodbye There'll be But there's one thing I know that the wheelchairs can roll on the streets of pure as gold. There'll be no wheelchairs in heaven. No one will be crippled that day. But there's one thing I know that the wheelchairs can street of pure as gold. Just stay right there. A listener's wanting to hear uh, Homesick. See the bright light shine? Have you got that one with you tonight? And that's what you're requesting. And I kind of like to hear that too myself, if you don't mind. Okay, and also pray, no, uh, Judy Stinnett, uh, wants a birthday song. Happy birthday to Judy. We'll let this uh, homesick be your birthday song. That, that would be, I'd like to have that for a birthday song, wouldn't you? That's, that's a good one. So. Okay, Are you, if you're ready, you go ahead and sing it for us. There's a Tables are spread in splendor. Someone is standing by an open door. And I can see a crystal river, so I must be near forever. Lord, I've never been this homesick before. See the bright light shine. About home time, I can see my father standing at the door. This the world's been a wilderness. No, Lord, I am ready for deliverance. Lord, I've never been this home sick before. I can see the fact. Gathering, sweet faces are all familiar. No one is old or feeble anymore. This lonesome heart is crying. I think I'll spread my wings for flying. Lord, I've never been this home sick before. See the bright light shine. Well, it's just about home time. I can see my father standing at the door. This our world's been a wilderness. No, Lord, I'm ready for deliverance. Lord, I've never been this home sick before. Lord, I've never
up in a wilderness. And oh, Lord, I'm ready for deliverance. Lord, I've never been this homesick before. Lord, I've never been this homesick before. Amen. I was just, I was thinking he was going to go on with it. I was already <laughs> helping him there. I, I appreciate you doing that, brother. Uh, Paul Loveless uh, has cancer, and he's very sick, and he needs a special prayer. Also, Frank and Carol Turnmeyer for help, and Frank also has cancer. Barbara and Leon Sisk needs prayer. Uh, Joanne Cook needs prayer. Also, uh, Henry and his daughter Cindy needs prayer. And also, a listener is requesting prayer. Uh, pray for Shelby Cook. And also, pray for Loretta. She's going to have to have a knee replacement. Uh, Tim is going to sing for us now. Are you ready, Tim? Okay, you go ahead. I feel sort of out of place tonight because that men that normally play with me are not here tonight, but uh, we're going to try to do what we can for the Lord. And uh, I'm not a piano player, but I love to sing for the Lord. And hope it's a blessing to you. I want to dedicate this song to Ray and Elaine Shue uh, that they're watching tonight. And I hope you'll get a blessing from it in the shelter of his arms. When my soul was disturbed with sorrow when my heart was burdened with sin jesus opened his arms of mercy and tenderly took me in there is peace in the time of trouble I'd like to take a few minutes to thank everybody for uh, giving to the program so we are able to be with you tonight. Uh, it, it does take money and we do have to beg and <laughs> ask for it. Uh, I wish it could be a, a different way, but it, it's this is the way God's intended it to be. And uh, we do thank you and and pray that God will bless you for for everything that you give us and for allowing us to to be a, a part of your life uh, it, it is a I've got uh, I've met three people this past week that had uh, seen seen me on the program and they uh, it's, it's a thrill to meet people and and to to talk with you and you're a blessing to me when I when I get to meet you and I, I thank you for that opportunity uh, Ursel and Wendell from Heath Springs, South Carolina. Lydia from Concord. Laos from Gastonia. Lee and Linda from Morganton. Robert uh, from Statesville. William from China Grove. Leon and Barbara from Krauss, I think. Krauss, okay. 
Linda from China Grove, Jeannie from Monroe, uh, Dorothy from Morganton, Donald and Betty from Concord, uh, Judy from Lenore, Glenn from Pinola, and Peggy, I'm not sure where, oh my goodness, scared me. Uh, we had a microphone to fall over over there. It's okay, nobody's hurt. Uh, Mary Lou from Hickory, Linda from Morganton, uh, Billy from North Wilkesboro, Harvey from Stanfield, North Carolina, and Jerry, I guess it's Jarrett, Jerty, Gertie, maybe from Stanley, North Carolina. Juanita from Polkton. Uh, also, we want to thank R.W. Watson. Uh, he makes homemade guitars. He's at 27 Crestview Street in Granite Falls, North Carolina. Uh, we, he uh, makes guitars and they, they, they look good, they sound good. So we'd like to thank all of y'all for giving on the broadcast. Um, um, I don't think Tim's ready yet. Are you ready? No, he's not ready, so. Uh, <laughs> well, just let me thank God for saving me again. Uh, you, you can always uh, say that. I know sometimes I feel like people get tired of hearing that, but you know, I don't really care because I, you can't never thank God enough for saving you. And I do appreciate it. And I, th I thank him for allowing me to be one of his children. Okay, brother, you going, okay, he's gonna sing first, brother Mark. Mr. Varner is going to come back over, and uh, him and uh, Brother Dockery is going to pray, and then I think Brother Varner will bring you the message. We do appreciate you uh, watching the program tonight and ask that you continue to pray for us. 
and and pray that we will stay in God's will, that we'll do what He asks us to do, and uh, we pray that for all the requests that's come in. We appreciate you you trusting us to pray for your for for your needs, brother. If you're ready, come on. Thank you, Cindy. I appreciate your help. Just uh, kind of got a little confused here about how things was going to go, <laughs> but anyway, it's good to be here. A lot of folks are sick and suffering. A lot of people tonight are saddened in their hearts and their spirits, and there are a lot of people leaves this world. Basically, seems like close to holidays that our loved ones leave us and our hearts get heavy and I'd like for you to remember uh, the Epps family down in South Carolina the Bread of Life singers and uh, one of their singers passed away Sue McCullen and need to remember them this was Pastor Epps' sister and they were really knitted together in the Lord and uh, very close family, so let's remember them tonight. There's a little fella over in uh, uh, Conley Springs. I'll get it out here in a minute. <laughs> uh, he'll soon be 17 years old, but he, he prays for Uncle Jerry and prays for Brother Joe and Sister Becky, and he's, he's a... A very fine little young man, but he has some health issues and he needs prayer. And that's the Austin Bumgarner. He's a special child, uh, and uh, the Lord's really been with him. He's had surgery a couple years ago, I think, and uh, I think it's been two years ago. But anyway, uh, he's done well, but I think he's having some medical issues again. So let's remember him in prayer. I'm going to ask Brother Joe to come and join us in prayer. We want to go to the Lord in prayer in behalf of all of those who are sick, those who are grieving, those whatever your need may be. Many people this time of year get depressed. The spirit of depression comes on many. You know, that's just another one of the tools the devil uses to try to tear you down. It's the spirit of depression, a heaviness. But you know the Lord is able to help us and to strengthen us through all of this. Our Father in heaven, Lord, as we gather together today, we come to you in the name of Jesus, Father. We come asking you, Lord, to touch those tonight, Lord, that are grieving in their hearts because of a dear loved one that's departed and gone home to meet their reward. We ask you, Father, to remember all those that are sick and afflicted in their bodies, Lord. Jesus came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. And Jesus bore the stripes upon his body for the healing of all sickness and all diseases. Lord, let them know and Lord, we don't question you, Lord, why Jesus. some are not healed. Lord God, but Lord, we know to suffer with you is to reign with you. you said all but Lord, on given the, unto we, me we know also, Lord, that Jesus earth, said, these works I do, even greater works she shall do, because and I go Lord, to the Jesus, Father. I go to the Father, then I send you to the Father. And Lord, we just thank you and we praise you, Lord, that you touch and heal, Lord, and raise the dead, Lord. Save the lost, Father. Redeem those that are about to sin, Lord Jesus, and bring Bring them into your kingdom, Lord Jesus. And being dead unto life through Jesus Christ, Father God, God, in Jesus' mighty mighty way, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. Everybody needs confidence. Everyone wants to hear a little word of encouragement. And I hope that I can say something to encourage your hearts tonight. I know we have just about three minutes left here on the broadcast, but it's been a wonderful night. You know, we just believe in letting the Lord have his way. But to encourage you, Paul said in the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 13, he said, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. If we don't have Christ in our heart, then we have nothing there to strengthen us or to help us through our troubles. But because that we have Christ in our heart, because we have him living on the inside of us, then we can do all things through him. Without him, we can do nothing. 
In the book of Hebrews chapter 13 verse 6 says, So that they, we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Can you say in your heart tonight that the Lord is your helper? Does he live and abide in your heart? He, and if we do, then we have no fear what man shall do unto us. In Hebrews 10, 35, 36 says, Cast away therefore your confidence, which thou hast great recompense of reward. For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of God, ye might receive the promise. Being confident of this very thing, I that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ in Philippians 1 and 6. But I like what it says in Habakkuk. Habakkuk chapter 3 and verse 19 says, The Lord is my strength, the Lord God is my strength, and he will make my feet like hind's feet, and he will make me walk upon my high places to the chief singer on my string instruments. God is our strength, God is our refuge, God is our very present time in need. Romans 8 and 37 says, Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that love him. Let me encourage you, if you don't have the Lord Jesus living and abiding in your heart, let me encourage you to receive him into your heart. It'd be one of the greatest gifts that you could ever receive at this Christmas season is to receive the gift of salvation and receive the Lord into your life. 1 John 5, 14, 15 said, And this is the confidence we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petition that we desire of him. And we must have faith, we must believe. Jesus said in John 14 and 12, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works I do, he shall do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. Thank God that Jesus has gone to the Father. He has sat down at the right hand of the Father and became our mediator and our intercessor. And we, we know that he is there because the Father has sent back the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, to comfort us and to lead us and to guide us. Brother Tim, do you have a song? Brother Tim is going to give us a song and we're going to go off. But let me invite you, if you don't know Christ as your Savior tonight, may you come to know him as your personal Savior. He's more than your Savior. He is your Comforter. He is your Healer. He is your Deliverer. He is your very present help in the time of need. Go ahead, Brother Tim. Praise the Lord. If the price of salvation were silver and gold, all the poor of this world would be lost. But the Savior who loved us in mercy, we are told, paid the price on the cruel 